Hi guys, my name is Stephanie and I am back in my kitchen today with another DIY. Today it is all about how to clean hazy glassware. I want to say that I had high hopes when I started this video. I thought I was going to be able to clear up all of this glassware, but something was happening that I was completely unaware of when I started this video. So I'm going to show you three ways that work to remove hard water stains on glassware. But this video overall was a fail for me for one big important reason that I didn't realize when I started this video. So if you have glassware that cannot be cleaned with the three ways I'm gonna show you, wait until the end of the video. There's probably a big reason for why your glasses cannot be cleaned. This is a common thing a lot of us are doing to our glassware, making it permanently hazy. And I'm gonna tell you all about it at the end, stick around. So when you have hard water, mineral deposits can be left behind on your glasses, on your windows, on your shower glass doors, any clear glass that you have in your house, you might start to see water spots left behind. Luckily, there are a few easy ways to get rid of hard water buildup on your glass. The first way I'm gonna show you is by using Barkeeper's Friend. So I have the powdered version of Barkeeper's Friend. It's great for scrubbing away hard water spots on glassware and glass dishes. So just sprinkle a little bit of it directly into the glassware or onto a damp sponge like the scour dowdy that I'm using here. Then gently scrub that hazy glassware and after a couple minutes, you're gonna see all of those hard water spots disappear. The other great thing about Barkeeper's Friend while, while you're there is it can clean your stainless steel sink. So go ahead and scrub out your stainless steel sink while you're doing this one. After rinsing off that Barkeeper's Friend, don't forget you're gonna need to wash that dish in your normal dish soap. Your next option for cleaning those hard water stains is with vinegar, normal household vinegar, the 5% acidity that you should be able to find in most grocery stores. I saw a bunch of recipes online about how to use vinegar to clean hard water spots off of glassware. So this one here uses one cup of hot water with two tablespoons of vinegar, and then you're just supposed to dip your rag or a sponge into that mixture and scrub your glassware to get rid of all of that built up calcium and magnesium mineral deposits. Another vinegar based option that I tried was just to submerge your water spot glassware in vinegar, like straight vinegar in your sink or in a big basin or tub, whatever you've got. But you have to use a lot of vinegar for this option. If you do have a lot of vinegar and you have some big dishes or a bunch of dishes you want to soak at once, go for that. Vinegar is pretty cheap. You just need to completely soak all of the glassware for two hours to get the best results. Once your two hours is up, grab that scour daddy or another sponge or rag and scrub at that mineral deposit that has now been loosened up by all of the vinegar. And then you wash your glassware as normal in your normal dish soap. And the third and final option I'm gonna show you guys today is using baking soda. So this is another home cleaning product that people love to use because you know there's no weird chemicals or toxicity that comes with it. And I'm using a Scotch-Brite, the blue scouring pad that is safe on glass. So for this one, all you wanna do is dampen that sponge or rag or whatever you're using to clean your glassware and make sort of a paste with the baking soda and just scrub away at those water spots again. This one does take a little bit more elbow grease than probably the first two that I showed you, but it is another easy way where you probably don't even have to run to the store for you to clean up hard water spots on your glassware. Again, once you get all of those hard water spots scrubbed away, you are gonna need to wash that glassware in your normal dish soap and some hot water. Now let's talk about what I mentioned in the beginning of the video about how these three ways that people constantly talk about how they work for them didn't actually work for me in the end. And it was baffling for me for a little while because I know we have hard water. We do have a water softener on our house so my husband was wondering if maybe it was making the water soft enough to, that it was actually soft water inside now. Um, but if you're, especially if you're a girl, you know when you go to a hotel in a state that has soft water, it feels like you can't get your shampoo and soap to wash off. So I knew we didn't have soft water, so it was baffling me how our glasses can end up looking like this after a few years, and it's not because of the hard water. I even got desperate after all of those tests and got two huge com containers of the vinegar and soaked my glassware overnight in vinegar, completely submerged overnight. I thought, okay, I'm gonna hit it with vinegar for a long time and then scrub it away. Still did not work. 
So I did a lot more research and I finally figured out that it boils down to the heat, the high heat that comes with dishwashers. So temperatures 140 degrees or, or over can permanently etch your glassware and give it that cloudy, hazy look that all of my glassware has. So instead of seeing spots on my glassware, like I used to have on the outside of my windows before I used vinegar to easily remove them, my glassware has an overall hazy or cloudy look to it. And it, it's the dishwasher. So I've decided from now on, whenever I buy new glassware, I am never gonna use my dishwasher to wash that because the wash cycle for a dishwasher can easily go above 140 degrees. And the dry cycle definitely is 140 degrees or above. So dry, washing and drying my glassware in my dishwasher is the culprit. It's the reason why my glassware looks cloudy the way it does right now. And it's the reason why cleaning it in vinegar didn't remove any of the hard water stains. We don't have hard water stains on this glassware. It was all cloudiness caused by permanent etching from the extreme heat in the dishwasher. So my friends, if you try all of those options that I shared earlier and your glasses still look cloudy and you're using your dishwasher to clean your glassware, it is probably the same problem that I have that the glassware has just, it's been permanently etched and there's really nothing that can be done to fix that. So in the future, when you buy new glasses or glass bowls, whatever glass dishes, use your, you're going to have to hand wash those if you don't want them to get cloudy after a few years. All right, sorry to break the bad news to you guys. Good luck, and don't forget to comment below if you have any questions because I do always try to answer. Thanks.